Welcome along to Hong Kong Direct, where the focus this week is a big meeting coming up at Sha Tin on Sunday before we launch into Chinese New Year here in Hong Kong. But this week we see a Group 3 centenary vase over the 1800 metres and we also see the start of the four-year-old series and what a lineup it is in this year's Classic Mile. He's a seriously good racehorse, this guy. He's clear of beauty, joy and fantastic treasure. And packing victory won it. He's off the deck here, California Spangle. Had one put on his chin at the 300. He gets the last laugh and he wins. Romantic Warrior to stay unbeaten from four. He's classy, all right, Romantic Warrior. Sight spirit, three in a row and another win for Marrera. It's the race fit, I'm a single man. Blaze Warriors peaking on his run. I'm a single man, tough one in the last. Far, far Beluga, Sabrowski at them late. Far, far wins again. If you threw your ticket out turning for home, head to the bin, find it, you'll get paid. Master Delight has beaten Maldives. Master Delight, one of three horses in the race for John Size. There's quite a number of trainers with double ups, but John has a triple up. California Spangle and I'm a single man for an informed Tony Cruz. Fresh off a big night at Happy Valley on Wednesday night. Blaze Warrior packing victory. He steps to the 1600 metres for the first time. Far, far. He's won over the 1800 metres. He comes to Sha Tin for just the third time in his career. Romantic Warrior unbeaten. Four starts for four wins. Lucky with you. Beaten by Romantic Warrior last time. Rocket Spade. An orthodox prep for him. He went around at Happy Valley around ten nights ago. Sight Spirit shooting for four in a row. He is unbeaten since stepping up to the 1600 metres in this year's Hong Kong Classic Mile. We move from the starter list to our special guest on Hong Kong Direct this week. It is an informed jockey by the name of Karis Teton who's been good enough to grant us some time this afternoon. Karis, thanks for joining us on Hong Kong Direct. You must be looking forward to a great day of racing coming up on Sunday. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm sure uh, all of us are looking forward for for the weekend, there's a lot of excited horses uh, going forward. We're going to start with the Classic Mile. Is this the strongest Classic Mile field you've seen as far as the chances of numbers go? Yeah, I would I would think so, uh, especially in the last couple of years. I think this is the strong bunch of horses I've seen uh, going forward, especially you know in the race, there's a lot of chances. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting race. You've picked up the ride on Romantic Warrior. He's a horse that you'll no doubt remember well. He unfortunately on that day beat you unlucky with you last start. Yeah, uh, of course, he looks like a very nice horse. Uh, there's a lot of, of course, high talk about him. He's done everything right so far in Hong Kong. Um, of course, last win was a very good win. I thought last time even lucky would you still run a good race, but I just thought uh, Romantic Warrior just got the better out of him uh, in the finish. Were you surprised that the ride on Romantic Warrior has become available and Joe went for Master Delight? Yeah, of course, you know, with Joe, anything is possible. Um, you know, he's got he's got some options and uh, sometimes he, he, he don't know which one he'll take, but end of the day, he can only ride one horse in a race. So if you're patient enough, uh, some good rides does come available later on. So I knew that, you know, of course, he had the two choice from Mr. Size. I think it was Side Singer and uh, Master Delight. So I thought, well, if he rides for Mr. Size, then for sure Romantic Warrior will be uh, available. And on that same day Romantic Warrior won, I won on Romantic Combo for same owner. So I thought if Joe stick with Mr. Size horses, then I might get the opportunity. And then he gave me the opportunity and I'm just very thankful. He's a, a great horse to be getting on for this series because he steps to the 1600 for the first time, which looks perfect. There's good speed in the race and you're drawn in Barry number one, so you must go in with a lot of confidence. Yeah, of course, the draw is going to be a big helpful uh, to the horse. Uh, of course, there's uh, a few horses that have some speed in the race. That will, that will help us a bit. And uh, like you mentioned now, from the draw, you don't have to do much. You just have to leave him alone and let him find comfortable and uh, I'm sure he's going to do his best in the finish. You're on the right in the feature, the Centenary Vases Ka Ying Star. It's been a while since you've had a sit on him. Two years between rides on the old boy. Yeah, of course, uh, I, I used to ride him before, but then got lost on the ride. I did not have a chance to ride him again. 
But, um, you know, of course, Tony gave me the opportunity again. So I'm really excited to, to get him back on him. Uh, he's been jumping a bit slow lately. So my, my goal, we try to get him out of the gate as fast as I can and make sure he can get into his normal rhythm that where he's always comfortable. And, you know, if he gets left alone in front, he can be a very dangerous horse in a race. And just finally, Karis, back to last week. Congratulations, 500 winners in Hong Kong. A number that you said just snuck up on you. Yeah, I was not sure actually what happened because everybody was so happy for Paul and then they were like, oh, you also. So I was not quite sure until I really got into the parade ring when Larry said, oh, no, you also won 500 winners. So it was, it's, it's something good. And, of course, it's been a good few years in Hong Kong. I just appreciate everybody opportunity and I just hope it carries on throughout the years coming. And uh, finally, Karis, have you got your sights set on 600 or you just go and ride the horses and let the numbers take care of themselves as it has done up to the 500? I'm looking at 1,000 already. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, no, I, of course, you know, I just I, I just like to ride as many winners as I can. Every season is, uh, is different, especially we all know in Hong Kong, things can get very hard every season. So I just try to ride as many winners as I can and I don't normally put the number in front of me. I just put my head down and just focus to our winners. A great way to end. Karis, thank you for your time here on Hong Kong Direct and all the best for a big day coming up this Sunday. Thank you very much. Take care. So that's the thoughts of Karis Teaton around Ka Ying Star and, of course, Romantic Warrior. But what about the other horses in this year's Classic Mile? Well, Nick Child was out of track work to gauge a few thoughts of some of the other riders. Uh, look, I'm, I'm optimistic about his chances. I've got to go in, go in confident. He's a New Zealand derby winner and he's, I think, barring one run in Hong Kong, his uh, two runs, uh, aside from that one run, has been really positive and uh, I think he's a classy horse in a competitive field. I think he's got some chance. Just looking ahead, obviously, he, as you say, given that form in New Zealand, he does look like a horse that's going to be well suited uh, to the, the second and third legs of this series. For sure, definitely. He looks like a horse as the distances stretch out, he's going to be better suited. But in saying that, um, his first up run over 1,400, I, I took a lot of encouragement um, out of. He, he got back and hit the line really strongly. Um, so that shows to me he, he, he's got some sharpness about him and if he can still have that sharpness in this run on the weekend, well, he's going to be thereabouts. I'm very happy to ride him because uh, I think the form of the horse is good. Uh, the mile, I think it should be not a problem for him. And uh, it's the horse for waiting. We have a good draw. Everything looking good for, for this time. So I will do my best. And he's got the blinkers going on first time as well. Do you, do you feel that could be a big asset to him in a competitive race like this? No, in the morning, done big change. But uh, I think Mr. Size decided to do that. It's not for nothing, so should be fine. Feels good. Uh, at a gallops, uh, a cup of jump out, and he's much better. Yeah. And where do you assess him sort of settling, Vincent, from gate number two? He's drawn a nice barrier, and I guess in this race you're going to get a bit more genuine tempo to race to race towards. Yeah, I'm glad. Finally, well, hopefully we'll have some you know genuine pace. Uh, but we'll still see how the race pan out. Um, you know, some pace will be on the outside, which is good. Um, you know, just hopefully, um, you know, around me, Phil, I'll be happy. Well, he's actually a good ride. I'm, I'm very pleased to ride him uh, for this race, and uh, he seems to be all right. Uh, his trial was good. Uh, his recent gallop was good as well. Uh, he seems to be a, a, a horse in very good form, and uh, well, he's been impressive this season. Uh, winning and beating so many uh, good horses so far. So um, it's interesting to see how he can uh, handle Chatin in this race. What about an expert selection for the race? Well, we've got two of the leading scribes in Hong Kong to put down their pens and pick up a microphone and give their thoughts on the first leg of the four-year-old series. I'm going for Sight Spirit for John Size, Wagner Borges, Barrier 7. Um, in fantastic form, one of the toughest races of the season, but I'm sticking with John Size and Wagner Borges. Uh, it's a tough race to narrow down to just one pick this classic mile, but I'm going to side with Romantic Warrior. Hasn't put a, a, a foot wrong thus far. Looks like he can settle uh, into a nice spot off what should be a, a good speed from Barrier 1, and I think he can get the job done. 
Romantic Warrior for Sam and Sight Spirit Filio, the two expert selections for Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, here is the diary of what is coming up. The first race at 1 o'clock, so Trackside Live from 12.30. Centenary Bars 4.05. The Classic Mile goes at 5.10. No Wednesday racing being Chinese New Year, so it's Sha Tin Thursday. Earlier start time there, on air from 12. The first race at 12.30. And the second of the day meetings at the Valley, Sunday the 6th of February with the Trackside Live on air from 12.30. We leave you on Hong Kong Direct with our classic replay and what an awesome field it is this year for the Classic Mile. What a great field it was in 2017 when Rapper Dragon was victorious. Have a listen to some of those names behind him. That has been Hong Kong Direct. Bye-bye. Rapper Dragon looking for room. Pakistan Star Beauty Generation of the outside with Western Express. Circuit Hasler from Winners Way. Beauty Generation Rapper Dragon darting through. Pakistan Star. Rapper Dragon took the lead at the 200 from Beauty Generation. Pakistan Star Winners Way and then Seasons Bloom. But Rapper Dragon going well, getting further in front. He's the heavyweight of the four-year-old series, Rapper Dragon, and he's too good for them in the Classic Mile.